Alright everybody, welcome back to uh, Test Tavern. We are today taking a look at a new game in the uh, 40k world known indomitably as... I mean, what is the full title here? We've got... It's called Warhammer 40,000 Gladius, colon, Relics of War. Apparently it's going to be a strategy style game. A few screenshots I've looked at. It looks like it's going to be a hex-based turn-by-turn sort of situation here. So let's adjust one quick setting and we take a look at it. Let's see. Let's some quick background work here. Let's turn that down a little bit. Okay. And let's play a new game. Is, it, is there no story? Or are we just looking at... Hmm. Okay. Well, just for fun, we'll, we'll start out the uh, tutorial introduction here. Okay. Gladius Prime was a bastion of humanity, newly colonized. A suitable base for our chapter to rebuild and recruit. We space marines raised our fortress here, grew strong again. But the orc invasion brought a warp storm that cut off our Emperor's light. Oh. And the dread necrons crawled from the earth beneath our feet. War was on all sides, yet we are the Emperor's chosen. We do not dread the dark, or quail at the relics of old. Terror is for those who oppose us. We know no fear. All right. Welcome to Gladius. To move the camera, position your mouse over terrain, click and hold the left mouse button, and move your mouse. So look at that. That's pretty simple. Okay. Space Marines deploy most of their crucial infrastructure from orbit to found your fortress, which is the backbone of your chapter on Gladius, and elsewhere. Click the Deploy City button in the Operations panel to the top left, and select an empty tile in sight. Note that the Space Marines only have one city. Nice. Space Marines deployed to most of their crucial resources one city. Okay. Cities gather resources required to fuel your war machines. The city screen displays all the resources related to the city. However, your mouse over at each resource to find out more. Okay. Loyalty, some influence, some research from buildings and loyalty, some energy, and requisitions. So, okay. Here, buildings are listed with their available actions. Note that all buildings of the same type are grouped together and can only perform one action at a time. Though multiple actions can be queued up, the required resources will immediately be subtracted from the global pool. Alright. Our free building slots in the city. Uh, an opportune time to make plans to expand your army. Begin constructing the infantry production building. Click the building, the blinking building button, and select the city tile with an empty building slot to start construction there. This will take several turns to complete. Well, that's not the one we want. Where is it? Factory, acquire tile. Similarium. Librarium. Generatum. And refectory. Building that produces infantry. Okay, it's the Apothecarium. 
that looks like we're gonna just build it here. Okay. Take your time to explore the interface. Every button and label has a hint to provide you with the relevant information. Should we do next? Refer to the red task button on the right hand side of the screen. It will help you focus your next task before you end your turn. Clearly, we're supposed to order these th these things here. Let's order units. Move the selected unit by pressing the right mouse button over a destination tile. Holding the button down will display the path the unit will take. Each unit can only be moved once per turn. Gladius is full of unknown treasure and vicious alien creatures. As you explore, you will receive discovery notifications that can be opened to reveal more information. Some terrain can be explored for rewards, while other features might hurt you or your unit merely for standing on it. Tread carefully, the planet's life can be ruthless, but if you leave it alone, it may spare you. Okay. Tiles with special resources features can be captured by moving a unit onto them. This will construct an outpost, providing you with a small but important bonus to your resource output and giving the unit stationed there increased damage reduction and healing rate. Defend your outpost or they will be taken by other factions or the Gladius wildlife. There are ruins of Vaul in sight. These ruins provide rewards for the first player exploring them. Some even provide powerful ancient items that can be later equipped by your heroes to make them stronger or expel at a specific encounter. Okay, well, go there. We got them. Heroes can be fancy, unclaimed items. Powered bolas. Select hero unit before claiming the item. Be found from exploration, expanded quest rewards, or bought at shops. The items provide either a passive bonus or give the unit a new ability that can be performed once or multiple times in a free action. Before being able to claim the item, you will have to recruit and select the hero unit, however we haven't done yet so these guys are, are they done yep so these guys next and I'm gonna send them here to investigate open the city screen click on the city name or double click the headquarters you can also select the city's defense by single clicking Headquarters on the icon above the city. All cities have limited firepower and will defend themselves when attacked. Make sure to protect your city at all costs. If you lose all your cities, you lose if all your cities are defeated. So units cannot move, but still perform an action. If they have weapons like city headquarters, they can attack. To perform an attack, move your mouse over enemies and right-click. Do we have any enemies in sight? I don't think we do. Jeez. Let's research something. The research screen is your, it's your factions. You need technology tree, beginning to select technology to the tier one. You research two technologies from a tier to unlock the subsequent tier. You can speed up research by constructing additional research buildings for your cities. Note that all progress is lost when you change the currently researching technology. So you can't, like, do it halfway and then come back later. Okay, so let's build an armory, I think. It's us ground vehicles as well as requisitions and research. Or do we want the tactical doctrine? Which will increase the accuracy of the space marines. Let's 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 just go straight to armory. We'll get that next. Okay, that's done. We featured that. Would you look at that? Special feature that allows a hero to use its house to purchase items as well as increase influence output city when acquired. And seek excitement, visit the Jokero, Jokairo, imbued with instinctive technical creativity that exceeds even that of an orc meek mech boy. These orange furred aliens resemble a great Terran ape but can create wonders beyond imagining. The challenge is in acquiring them and safely working out what they do. If I'm not mistaken, they're uh, allied to the Tau. So you're actually going to end up heading there because I want to check it out. Yeah, we did that. We discovered some wire weed. 
Woe will be tied. Anyone who wanders into these thickets of brambles. Slowly at first, but faster and faster, the living weed draws its razor-sharp filaments tighter around the hapless intruder. Okay. Go leaf. I'm not going to read all those to you. Those are really cool. You guys should get this game and check out the index, because that's some nice stuff. And those are the ruins that we found already. So, let's end our turn. We're back. Okay, so this unit is now going to... I think he's going to move up here. And execute cute orders. That puts him at the trader. And he has forged an outpost there. Look at that. Okay. unit has a variety of statistics and attributes, traits, abilities, and weapons, each with their own ranges and effects. Some units might only have melee weapons, but quickly move through to rough terrain, while others may have fear auras, unleash powerful artillery blasts. Move your mouse over the icons and buttons in the selection panel to find out more about the selected unit. You can disband. You can overwatch. Basically, a defensive action. You can hold position. Hold until healed, or skip his turn. So, let's overwatch, because I like that. And then let's go to this unit. Space Marines are able to issue strategic and tactical operations by expanding influence, which such a preparation is deployed in the Fortress of Redemption, a stationary unit that secures adjacent special resource features. Placement of fortresses of redemption is key to space marines to gather resources beyond their city's reach. Okay. So then, can he still move? Let's see here then. And then we'll skip unit, and then we'll end our turn. Okay. Let's move here. And move you. Here. Still haven't encountered any baddies, but that's okay. We got two more turns until that's ready, so that's that wire weed we don't want to be part of. So we've gained a population point in our city. Let's go back here. And let's go here. Ah, we found something. Okay. We finished the research on the armory. From the simplest combat knife to most redoubtable of relics, the Master of Ordnance keeps in close watch, watch upon the chapter's war gear. Hmm, okay. And yep, we know about the compendium because that was kind of neat. The Imperial ruins. I wonder if that'll give him cover. I think you should stay out of that because that sound looks painful. Go check out these rocks. Oh yeah, we gotta tell the city to do something now. You cannot produce units. Queue up as many as you like, but watch your resources since this is a separate building type. The other buildings can keep producing at the same time. If you construct additional infantry production buildings, infantry will complete training twice as fast. So interesting. So show me the Apothecarian. And he can produce tac marines. Which is what we're gonna do. Two more squads of. And then he's going to. Oh, you can just grow the city that way. Why not? 
Okay. Let's choose our research since the armory is done. We'll build that tactical docker and turn it like that. And what about the armory? Does that list us anything here? Building that produces ground vehicles. We built it, but I don't see it anywhere. Interesting. Okay. Okay, then. So, yep, I was just doing a little bit of reading. And uh, we're going to have to wait until we figure out where to build those units. So, let's go ahead and exit the city. Clear that notification. And we'll end the turn. Oh, here we go. Oh, some wolves, crude hounds attacking us. That's crazy. So... A variety of ways forest and imperial ruins have increased movement costs, but they provide units from having a clear line of fire. Okay. What if we take this guy and attack? They did quite well. And you... Probably too far to attack, right? Yeah, we can only go one space inside these ruins, so let's go here and see what we find. Recalf leaf. Okay. We discovered the heart wounds. The pseudo-avian crute is uniquely flexible, able to absorb genetic data of other races by consuming them, but sometimes isolated crute communities run into an evolutionary dead end. The crute hound is one such dead end. The devolution of crute into a wolf life species on Gladius Prime. They have run feral for generations. So that's neat. So it's going to tell you all their attributes. It gives you their weapons power. Wow. Kind of cool. Okay. So... That's it for our turn. Nope, oh, got another pack of them right there. Let's see here. One marine down, man. That's no good. You're gonna attack these guys. That's all there is to it. And since they attack, they don't get overwatch from the sound of things. All right. So then. This unit has a rapid-fire weapon equipped. Units with rapid-fire are able to cause much more damage at close range, but still fire from further away. It might be useful to move closer before attacking. I agree. Let's attack. Looks like we eliminated that unit. They got XP for that. Okay. We acquired that. Oh, look at that. They built a little defensive structure around it. Interesting. Okay, so... Okay. Production up and running to take care of resources in infantry building. Only a minor resource gain to keep your war machines in operation to construct specialized resource buildings. Build a resource building just like you built an infantry building. The tile on the building is placed. May modify the building's research out resource output. Look for matching resource icons. It's important to not run out of resources, otherwise your buildings will begin working at low efficiency. Okay, so this is producing research and influence. No. Just research, unfortunately. So can we build something here? Let's see. So the the librarian would attribute research six, so let's let's try for that. We might want it there. And meanwhile, we're going to deploy Fortress of Redemption. And I want to put it 
All of these are just research. Oh, there's a power one. Right there. Too cool. End our turn. Well, they didn't get any of our guys this round, at least. That's good. Tactical doctrine researched. They shall be pure of heart and strong of body, untainted by doubt and unsullied by self aggrandizement There will be bright stars on the firmament of battle, angels of death whose shining wings bring swift annihilation to the enemies of man. So it shall be for a thousand times a thousand years, unto the very end of eternity and the extinction of moral flesh. From the Codex Astartes. Nice, so that's going to uh, make our space marines more accurate, like this. Only got two of them. You, sir, have that handled. What if we go there? Does it stay fortified? Looks like that. Okay, so really then, we need to get our other Space Marine unit built and over into that one. What's our next? Would be Assault Marines, which are the Jump Packs. Hammer of Wrath is Scout Bikers, the ability to perform more devastating attacks. Increase population limit. Huh, well you gotta love Jet Packs. Let's start there. So according to this, we're going to have another attack marine in two rounds and the librarium in three. So in turn, oh, they ran away. Like that. Can you get here? They're going to try. They're going to wait till next turn. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Ooh. What are the odds? Nice. Nice, 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 nice. What is a Grox pasture? Look at that. That's about the Grox. Is that that? More ruins of Aul. Okay. In turn. So it's kind of like Civilizations meets 40k, from what I can tell so far. It's not where I wanted you to go at all. Go there. Perfect. Thank you. And we've got our new Space Marine. Uh, let's go ahead and start you out here. Okay. Execute queued orders. Yep, and you're going to fire on those Xenos Psychinuins. That would have been a lot heavier. That would have been more effective. Moons of... Psychonium Necron Tomb. Where at? Okay. That's what those are, is Necron Tombs. Fermentation pools. Give food, growth, requisitions, and influence. Ugh. Okay. A rare warp sensitive creature, apparently native to Prospero, the Psychonuan, seems capable of travel through the Old One's webways, meaning they are widely distributed around the galaxy. Parallel evolution has resulted in a wasp like appearance but mature adult significant strength, speed, toughness, and rumored ability to turn insubstantial at will makes them a threat to any sentient being. Yeah, and they didn't go down when the whole squad of space marines opened up on them. Okay. And our turn again. Yep, they're coming in. I knew it. We're going to regret this. Looks like they got one of them. Okay, but now we're close enough for rapid fire, so... Half 
half of them down. I've seen worse. Let's go. Yeah, let's put him in. Yeah, okay. So let's go to that unit. They'll continue moving. We'll make the city do something. The city should build. It's already got a librarium there. Can it do both? Guess we'll know in a couple turns. Right. So. Okay. Oh. Someone died. Ooh, what are those? We now have the ability to train space assault marines. Enslavers. Algoid fungus. They don't look fun. So let's return home. Looks like we've reached our limit here on the edge of the map. We're going to move him forward where we have found... What are you? Arm bowls. It's an ape-like Xeno species native to the desert death world of Luther McIntyre 9. Crazy. Alright, well, we're right here. They didn't give a damn. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that we are going to go ahead and save the game. And that'll be our episode zero. A first look at Warhammer 40,000 Gladius Relics of War. So it's, it's essentially a 4K game where you've replaced uh, civilization with space marines or whatever uh, faction you choose. So I'm excited to give this a shot. Please uh, comment below. Tell me what you think about it. Any tips, things you may have heard. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe as well. We're going to be bringing you more content as quick as we can. So thank you. Have a nice day.